Hello guys, YT Exotics. Got another video for you today, and I haven't posted an update since my chicken spider died. I was a bit down about it, but I've got over that now. And today I have just made a huge order of spiders, so I'll be unboxing that in a minute. First, I just want to talk you through what's actually new in the room because I've been building and adding bits to it. Um, it's still not finished, obviously. There's there's more to go, but I framed my chicken spider now. So at least, you know, I've still got her in some form. That's my gigas, chicken spider, and my latticeps. That one died of old age. I don't know what's killed this one. And that one died in a freak mating accident. It's a shame really because they were my three best spiders, but you know, what can you do? Things happen. So guys, here we go. I've got strip lights across the room now. And I'll just switch that on. It's infrared, so there we go, and that goes right the way across, which I think looks pretty sweet. So there we go. What have I got today, guys? Well, I've been trying to get one of these for ages. It's an actual official tea blondie. Costs quite a bit. It's not full grown, but you'll see that in a second, and you'll see what else I've got. Okay, guys. Before I start, let's just get some lightning in here. There we go. Well, as always, this is from Lee from the Spider Shop, and it's getting quite cold here in the UK, so obviously he's double insulated it. I think that's the order in there. Yeah, right, we'll just move this down here for a minute. So I haven't got any enclosures prepared at the minute. I'm just gonna see what I feel like afterwards and find out which ones to put them in. But they're all quite small. Okay, so this one first is a baby king baboon spider. It's quite cheap, so I thought I'd add that to the order, add that to the order. And it's probably gonna take about 20 years for this to grow to full adult size. There it is, yeah, it's tiny. So that can just go back in there. There we go. Try and get a close up on that. RKK. CKK. I'm not sure what that one is yet. All right. Okay, carrying on, guys. So, this is a H pole pipes. I'm trying to work out if that's what I actually ordered. When they're abbreviated like this, it's hard to know. There we go, okay. So this one is the golden blue leg baboon. It's only tiny, so you won't be able to appreciate its colors at the moment. But uh, this thing is just gonna be amazing when it grows up. They get a full golden color and bright blue on the legs, which you'll be able to just see on the bottoms here. Let me get a bit closer. There we go, that's about the best I can do on that camera. So yeah, just get that one in. Like I said, guys, it's, there's, most of them are small, but the order is very expensive. It's one of the biggest ones I've placed. All right, we'll put this down here for a second. We've got a little 
heat pack there, that's nice and warm. Okay, here we go guys. So I got a Nando Chromatis, or Nando Chromatis, and a T Blondie. Let's do the Blondie first because this is the one that's actually going to go in the enclosure where my chicken spider used to be. So here we go. And this is the uh, official tea blondie, not the Sturmy. Alright, here we go. Okay, yeah, definitely what I expected a very wiry, leggy little sling, but blondie slings are always quite big. And um, I'd say it's been about 10 15 years since I've actually owned a blondie. Very cool. I can see that he's all hairy all over the legs, including the patella, and that's how you identify them as blondie. Let's get him in. Ah, huh. awesome. This thing will grow fast. Let's do the chromatus and then we'll get to the biggest part of my order, or the biggest spider in this order at the moment. Right. There we go, oh, she's really nice. I love the look of this spider, very nice species. So, um, Obviously, again, you know, it's a sling, it's not got its full adult colours yet, but this will get bright red around here, and these will all be white, as you can see. But she's fairly big, actually. That's bigger than expected. There we go. I'll sort out some enclosures for these afterwards. Okay guys, now for this one, I probably want to get an enclosure ready, just temporary. Um, it's getting quite hot in here actually, the underfloor heating's kicking in. So this one guys is a, uh, let, hold on, let me think off the top of my head, I can't remember the scientific name. It's called a KN Krakan, uh, Kilobrachis, there we go. So, let me just get some closure for that. Okay, this one's pretty decent sized. I can already see that. Looks like it's webbed itself in. <laughs> okay. So these guys get to about eight to eight and a half inches. They're massive, uh, very aggressive or defensive. And I would say this one is sub-adult, so it's probably got a few molts to go until it gets to full adult size. Let me try and get a close up for you guys. And then I'm gonna have to run and get an enclosure for it. Yeah, very nice. It's got a very rusty looking colour to it, almost like a baboon spider. But these ones are from Asia. Okay guys, I'm going to pause the video there and get something for this quickly. Okay guys, crisis aborted. I've got an enclosure for it now, temporary. And I'll get their proper enclosures sorted very shortly. So here we go, one final look at them. 
Um, maybe I need to get a torch on this. Yeah, it's really bright in here, but obviously it's it's not picking up very well on the cameras. But yeah, there's lights everywhere, which is awesome. Sam and Pink Birdie is doing well, and she is a giant. Yeah, uh, empty enclosure. Oh, sorry, no, actually, hold on a second. There's my. Yeah, I need to clean that out. There's my ornamental tree spider, P. Regalis, and she is huge. She shed again. I would easily say, you know, eight, eight and a quarter inches leg span. So you know, massive adult. Rainbow crab. I need to sort him out a nice glass enclosure now. I've got the space. And uh, yeah, just going to work with it, guys. I've got live plants in here. Got a, a cupboard for my reptile utilities. It's just awesome. It's it's amazing. This is something I've wanted to do for ages, and finally now I'm able to do that. So uh, the videos that will be coming in the future should be much better, guys. All good. Yeah. So there we go. This was the enclosure of the chicken spider, and it's the perfect humid rainforest environment for the tea blondie. So once I grow it up a little bit. I'll introduce this to this enclosure. Now I could put it in there now and it'd probably make that like a burrow, but I don't know yet. I'll just have a wait and see. Uh, actually guys, you can comment below and tell me if you think that I should put it in there, that would be good. Because it looks quite big. Um, what else we got? My Phlogia species Goliath in this one. And then I've got ones on the top here. These are very bright. So what I'm going to do guys probably is get some strip lighting on the back as well, just to light that up. And then I want to get a, um, a plinth made with a hinge. You know, I put a hinge on here, hinge on there, and then I should be able to just lift that. And then it keeps these blocked so, you know, they're not an eyesore. But yeah, there we go. Alright guys, hope you've enjoyed this video. Sorry if it's a bit of a long one and dragged on a little bit. And I will catch you in the next video as I'm going to do some more videos in this room now. Uh, it's going to be much better. Alright, peace out guys.